So resizing images on your Mac. A nice quick and easy process using the inbuilt tool called Preview on your Mac. So I have already created a folder with some pictures in that we can work off and I've put eight images into this folder and we will be resizing these and you can see by if I just select one you can see the dimensions are currently 6000 by 4000 so 6000 pixels uh, along the length and the height is 4000 pixels and we're going to edit these um we're oh, 72 dpi sorry yeah but we're going to edit these and resize these now we're going to do a single image first and then we're going to do a batch of the eight images to resize them all uh, so if you're doing a wordpress um, website or something like that it's ideal for this because if you're taking multiple images throughout the day then you just need to resize them and i think wordpress uh, they usually say about 1920 by 1200 is sort of the uh, maximum size to go for so you're keeping quality but also keeping the speed loading on the website uh, so yeah they're good to resize and batch um, using the inbuilt program on the mac okay so let's get started so the first thing we're going to need to do so like i said i've just opened these folders up you'll just go to the folder that you're working with and i'm just going to pick one to start with and we need to make sure that we are using preview to open the images so the way to check is to pick an image right click go to open with and you have preview is currently my default which is good because that's what we need uh, but yours might be something else if you've installed a different program um, if you want to set your preview for the default please look at some of my other videos where I show you how to set um, default programs on the Mac so if yours is preview then great all you need to do is click on the image so it's going to do single uh, image first so double click to open it and it will open in preview because that's the default program and this is the picture that we're going to work off like I said earlier, this one is 6,000 pixels wide and it is currently 4,000 pixels high. So we go up to the top, tool by new, and we click on tools and then go down to adjust size. And there we have the 6,000 by 4,000 dimension. So we're going to leave scale proportionally ticked because we want it to keep, if I, if I pick, um, say for example, the width at... 1920 i want the height to adjust proportionally to that uh, you can put your own um, sizes in and get it to resize differently that way uh, but you've also got you can do the different um, sizes here so these are presets so 1024 by 1024 and you'll notice i have pixels selected here you might want to work in inches or centimeters or something like that but i always um, indefinitely work with pixels all the time I always have done uh, but you might want to resize uh, using them different options okay so a little, couple of little quirks that are uh, in this program uh, if you pick up one of the standard dimensions so fit into 800 by 800 for example if I pick that one up you can see the 800 there which is great it's got the 800 wide and because I have scale proportionally it is it, it has set the height to 533 that's because the scale proportionally is selected uh, but as soon as I've picked these boxes up now, so I can do one or two, four, uh, and you can see it's adjusted the height. But now I can't, uh, cannot go back to my custom size in this particular box. So if I cancel back out, go back into tools again, go to adjust size, and then I'll have my custom option is now selected again. Make sure that you have custom selected. Like I said earlier, I'm using pixels, and I'm going to adjust my width. And in this particular case, I'm going to use the 1920. And then you'll see straight away the height changes to 1280. So now it's going to do it 1920 wide by 1280 in height. So that's great. It's going to do it in pixels. Um, and it's also telling me the resulting size was 6 megabytes. And it's going to go down to 250 kilobytes. So 32% uh, reduction in size. That's great. Click OK. And that will be that first image resized to the 1920 uh, that we've just done in the width. So that's great, that's one image done. So how do we do multiple images? So just to prove what we've done, so this is one of the other different images. You can see there's 6,000 by 4,000 in height. The one we've just resized, which is this top one, is now 1920 by 1280. So now I want to resize and do a batch resize uh, using preview on the Mac. So I'm gonna highlight the top image that from where I want to start from uh, and if you're not sure 
on how to use uh, and select multiple files. You just use the shift key uh, to and pick the bottom one. So pick the one where you want to so use a shift key and then click on that and it will pick the images in between. So pick the top image. And if I push my shift key and keep my finger on the shift key, click, left click on the mouse and it auto selects. Uh, and you can also uh, drag up from the mouse. If you left click on your mouse, drag up to where you want, off way of from and to. Um, and then you can do that on the Mac as well. So there's lots of different ways of selecting multiple files. So let's select the files we want. So I'm going to select these bottom seven that we've got left, and I'm going to resize these. Uh, I'm going to batch resize these. So right click on these images, go to open with, make sure that you're opening with preview, left click to open. And now we get a slightly different look on the image. So you can see we've got the seven images down at this left hand side. Now these are all obviously 6,000, um, was it 6,000 wide by 4,000 high? And I want to resize these all to the 1920 in width. So how do we do that and how do we get these adjusted? What we do is we go up to edit in the top toolbar, click, click on select all, and this on the left hand side you'll notice they've all got white I like a white bounding box around them so if I unclick off you'll see that they go off so that's this one selected this one so the white bounding box is what you're looking for so if I go back up again click on edit select all make sure that they've all got the white uh, binding box around them not bounding box up to tools go to adjust size so now we're going to adjust size in all these that we have selected and I'm going to change them all to the same size as the previous one. So 1920, it's got scale proportionally, so it's going to scale the height proportionally to the width in preview on the Mac. And now the sizes are exactly the same. So these are gonna be 32% less, it tells you the sizes they're gonna be for the seven images. Click OK, and that will resize all them images down to 1920 um, in the, let me just close this down. So as you can see, that resizes all these images now that we have selected to the 1920 in width by 1280 in height. And incidentally, if we were, um, where I was on about before for the WordPress sites, if you wanted to do it at sort of 1200 in height, you would do the uh, as the maximum. Then you would obviously select all the images that you want to change. So I'm going to select them all again. Right click, open with, preview. Pick the images that you want. So I'm going to do them all again. So edit, select all, check they've all got the white binding box around them. Go to tools, adjust size. And this time I'm going to change the height. But make sure scale proportionally is still selected. Scrub over the height. I'm going to change that to 1200. If you look at the width, we'll change to suit the height. So it's a maximum height of 1200. And now the, uh, the width has changed to 1800. Uh, so that might be my maximum size I want to go for from a height. And again, I can change, uh, making sure I'm still on pixels on the right hand side. And now I can change them and now they will all be to the uh, maximum uh, height of 1200. Um, and then the width has been sampled down to suit that whilst keeping the image proportional uh, to its original uh, capture. So thank you very much for watching uh, how to quickly resize an image or many images at once on your Mac computer using the preview program or app. And thank you very much for watching the computer lab. If you like this video, then please do hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, and if you do subscribe, hit the bell icon as well. Any comments below is always appreciated. And thanks again for watching the computer lab on YouTube.